Alright, for this uh, third portion of the video, we're going to start out by using our eyedropper. And we will choose the color here. We're going to take the edges of this stuff and we're going to sharpen them up a little bit. To do that, we're going to use a different brush. In the brush tools, I'm going to use this one here that is number 35. I've already pre-picked it. And it's going to be one that's similar to this right here. And then we'll come in. If I need to change the size of it, right bracket, of course. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to edge. I'm not worried about if I get all the way right to the edge because obviously paintings aren't always perfect, especially as you get to the end. I'll come back over here. And it's okay if I have a little bit of softness coming off the the corners, that's all right. And as we paint, we're going to clear this up a little bit. We still have these edges to take care of, so back to the eyedropper. Choose a color that we want. We're still using the same brush, so we're coming along, and we're going to sharpen up the edges that we need to. And you can see that kind of defines the picture a little bit better, clears it up, because we just had a basic outline. You can see I've kind of smeared into that. That's okay. Artists do that all the time as they mix pictures and colors. I should say as they mix colors. I'm going to go and change the color back to the same brush and now you can see that I can add a few things, a few features so you can see it's a little bit different than what it was sharpen it up just a mite and I'm going to just about call this finished on the the edges there I can come back and do the same thing here if I want to but you can see I've kind of defined this and then I'm ready to make the trees so I'll do the trees in a separate portion of the video